Well, I'm back at Entom, one of my favorite venues. Everyone's probably thinking, oh, here we go again, it's another cruising video, but you can probably tell it's earlier in the season. It's, you know, the, the blossoms on the tree, the daffodils are still about. There's frost on the ground some mornings and the cruisians haven't woken up. The tench are slowly beginning to show. So this is more about catching a couple of early season tench. I'm gonna be fishing two different methods, contrasting methods, ones you've seen before, but I'm trying at this time of year just to buy a bite or two, ring the changes, red maggot, white maggot, plastic, etc., etc. One clicked up trying to build a little area, one just trying to be cast around to find an opportunist fish. So uh, I'll go through the rigs and the bait and hopefully during the course of the day we'll catch a fish or two. But as you can see by the sun, it's not gonna be easy. I'll just run through the first rig I'm using. If you wanna see more, go to the Bream video at Badshot Lee that I did last year. It explains everything in more detail. Um, it's also known as the FTO rig. Um, but what it is, is just a couple of float stops tracking a, tracking a small hook link, about the length of your finger. The hook there is a size 16 super specialist, micro barb. Check your hand put of your handbook of your permit. A lot of clubs allow a micro barbed on a smaller hook, a 16 or smaller. So use it to your advantage because obviously if you've got a barbless there, by the time you get to the rod, sometimes they've shaken the hook. Um, and I've tied the actual hook on using a, like a knotless knot style and just cut the actual length of line off because you see all the carp anglers trying to get this acute angle, um, you know, that just give good hooking property. So why not actually do it just scaled down a lot more? A small little boom there just creates an anti-tangle rig. And another little kind of hint is if you're getting a lot of beep, 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 like lots of little bleeps and not hookups, just change a feeder to a heavier feeder. It's just a little bit more that they can't get away with and it just pulls the hook home. So lots of you know little things you can do with this. You can change your bait to red maggot, white maggot like I'm doing today. And if the fish are kind of seen this rig quite a bit, you know they're in your swim, but you're not getting as many fish as you'd like, just change, just move that hook link you know, 12 inches away from the feeder. A lot of the fish don't want to come down on the feeder and, you know, because they've been caught and hooked close to it. So by placing an actual hook link further away, sometimes can work better for you. So, you know, change your hook baits, change the distance away from the feeder and keep casting and you should catch fish eventually. It might take a bit of time to build a swim, especially on a day like today, early on in the spring, but it's one of those rigs that, is my take anywhere rig for pretty much every species. Well, I've shown you the helicopter rig and the pellet cone really needs no introduction, but I'll just run through it very quickly. Again, I'm using my little scope rods, six pound main line. First thing on the main line is a little float stop. That acts as a bolt rig. So I've got a lead that's running, hits the bolt, as the fish tips up, normally drags the actual hook straight into the bottom lip. I normally start with an ounce lead, a 1.1 ounce lead. Again, if I feel I need a heavier lead to improve the, the hooking properties, I'll go up to a 1.5. A little quick change bead, and then the hook link again is Reflo 514. It's again the length of my finger. And down here, as always, size 16, micro barb, super specialist hook. And just a small plastic caster here. You can use a white one, an orange one, whatever you feel works on the day. I'm putting some red maggot out in my helicopter rig, so it seems a sensible option to use a little red caster. And I don't even put a, um, a bait stop in there because where the knot is, where I've tied the loop, it just holds that actual caster on. And that's it. And then simply, if you want to just do the, put the pellet cone, you just get the small cone, compress some two mil pellets in there. What I've done with these pellets is I've put a little bit of hemp oil in. I actually boiled some hemp and I used the water to dampen down the pellets. Tench absolutely adore hemp. 
um, they can get preoccupied on the actual little particles but I actually use just the actual you know um, water afterwards it's just a great attract tractor and then simple baiting needle through the pellet cone get your hook link you've got the loop on the end attach pull the hook link right the way through place the actual hook point into the actual bait remember to pop the cone out if you cast it out you've lost your cone and I know somebody who's done that or knew a few people who's done that and then just pick up your hooklet your main line with your quick change bead attach compress and there you have it cast it out absolutely brilliant just cast in here and there I'm not clipped up today I'm just trying to cast out land this in the vicinity of a hungry fish one that's just woken up in the spring and wants a food so um, no clipping up on this one I'm just looking for an opportunist fish that long last we're into a fish it's been taken about an hour actually I've got one rod out on the pellet cone and plastic in the hope of an early season cruising but it will be an outside chance and one really fishing for tench on the helicopter rig um, and it's actually the pellet cone that's actually gone so um, that's quite surprising but this certainly isn't a cruising a tench I would say or a carp proper screaming run well, there you have it we've been here about an hour been making quite regular casts just one with a pellet cone and a bit of plastic in the hope of an early season cruising and the other one on the helicopter rig which I was hoping more for a few tents that have been showing um, and actually it was the pellet cone that actually went first with this hard fighting mail that took me probably a good six or seven minutes to land I uh, don't know, it's probably about five pound I would think great big tail on there, powerful fish on light tackle and balance kit as I say the conditions are really really not good you pick your day, you come and uh, I'm hedging my bets trying a few different tactics white maggot, red maggot, plastic corn, you name it but eventually one's just ripped off and uh, we're here for a few more hours hopefully this will be the first of a few Is that another fish? Well, I'm into my second fish of the morning feels like another tench and again, it's come on the pellet cone. I've actually tied a new rig, a new hook link on the helicopter rig because I haven't had a bite on that, which is very, very strange. I was expecting more bites to come on the helicopter rig. So if you ever have a feeling that, you know, one rod's not doing enough, you've got to change things. Even if it's a hook link, it might just not be working correctly for you know, or acting correctly for the fish. So uh, you just got to keep changing things around until you start catching some fish. This fish absolutely ripped a load of line off. It came whilst I was casting the other rod out, which sort of took me a bit by surprise. Fish number two, not as big as the first one, but... Is that a fish? Yeah. Well, as you can see, I've sat here for one fish in about two hours and I've got one in the net and another one on. I've literally just changed my hook link on this helicopter rig. It's been out there 10 minutes and it's gone off. A guy up the bank's had a couple of tench and I'm sitting here thinking this rod should be working and it's not. Something's not right. Hook link change straight into a fish. Lesson learnt there for everyone. Oh you're not happy. Well 
Well, there you have it. I've been sitting there for about two hours now, had a fish after an hour, and then two come along at once. One on the pellet cone and plastic, and this slightly bigger one came along after I'd changed the hook link on the helicopter rig, because I just thought it had to be happening, and sometimes something might not be right with your hook link, it just, the fish might be able to come along and it might just not be sitting on the bottom properly. And I literally changed the hook link, We'll soon see whether it was the change that made the difference because I've just cast the rod out again, but literally 10 minutes and straight away we caught a tench on it. So happy days, hopefully there's going to be a few more later. Just went oh, there she goes. Right. Well again, I've just uh, changed my hook link on the heli rig straight away at a tench and I'm away again. Initially I thought this could be a big cruising because it wasn't doing anything but it's just started to feel a lot heavier. Vision and then... Lovely. Well there you have it, tench number four. I'm not coming thick and fast at the moment, but all the time this cloud cover is slowly coming over. The bites are certainly picked up. I've had two on the cone now and two on the helicopter rig, so, uh, but two on the helicopter rig since I changed that hook link. So uh, it just, uh, you know, you've gotta, gotta get the other rod working if you think it should be. So uh, okay, not the biggest tench, probably four and a half pound. So, uh, but a beautiful coloured fish, with those red eyes, stunning. And it's still not even April yet. Okay, just a little tip for you. Even if in, in summer and you think you're gonna go through a lot of ground bait, there's no point just getting a bag of ground bait, tipping the whole lot in a bucket, or even a half a bag in a bucket, and then mixing it up. So many people I see, they pour half a bag in, put too much water in, the other half a bag goes in, and they just don't get the consistency right. Fish aren't feeding that well, and at the end of the day, they've just wasted a whole bag of ground bait. Just mix a little bit at a time. That's probably a tenth of a bag of ground bait. Yeah, and another little hint is, this is hemp juice. I boiled some hemp up, tend to love it. I've got a few tiny bits of hemp in there, but I don't actually put the seeds in there because tench can come in and get preoccupied, but that is it, that's from the pan. I've frozen the hemp for another session and just tip a little bit in at a time, not loads in. Mix it up so it's slightly damp and then what you have to do is just leave it for three or four minutes. Let that hemp oil just absorb in and then let it absorb it, dry out a little bit, add a little bit more, just little and often and then obviously all you've got is, you know, you've got about 30 casts there. So to me, that would last me, I don't know, probably the rest of the day. So um, yeah, don't go mixing too much ground bait. Uh, same with your, your pellet. I've only mixed a tenth of a bag up there. That'll keep me going all the time. Well, there you have it, tinker number six. Um, that one came on the helicopter rig. I think it's three tench to each rig today. So nothing's actually out fishing the other. This one's the biggest of the day so far. Six pound, seven ounces. So, uh, but they've all been a good stamp of fish. So uh, not a bad uh, tinker in the middle of the day. Well, I'm gonna call it a day now. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. We started about. I don't know, about half past eight, nine o'clock. So five, five and a half hours fishing. We've had six tench, which I think on a, on a day like today is um, not a bad shout, especially when we got here, it was, you know, blue sky, not a cloud in the sky, clouded over around lunchtime, but now it's gone bright again. The, the bank either side of us getting quite busy now with anglers. So um, I just think I'm, you know, I'm quite happy with that. The biggest tench was, you know, well into the six pound mark. So, uh, can't really say the helicopter outfish the pellet cone. I think it was three on each each rig. So um, 
another day you'd have one one out fishing the other and you'd change both to the actual going method so uh, you know I'm pleased with the uh, the effort it's still March the cruisions haven't woken up there's a few carp showing the tensure nice and early so um, I'll be back in a week or so hopefully just not you know catch the odd cruising but until now we'll see you in the future